Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Ms. Crashy, and today we're going to be diving into a competitive VOD review on the brand new patch, the new season between GG Gaming Gladiators and Foreign Famous. It was a most recent tournament that happened, a $1,000 community cup. I'm not exactly sure who it was hosted by, uh, but the games were intense. Let's go ahead and dive into it. All right, so let's set the stage a little bit. It is a best of five grand finals, and both teams are at two wins and two wins each. Um, it started off Foreign Famous very strong, winning the first two games back to back, and then GG pulling it back, winning the next two games. So I have not watched this last game. I just got done watching the first. Okay. So you can see Glocksic going to be going top with the Hoopa to 2 on 2. And they actually swapped Sam over to Pikachu, who's been playing Cramorant as well, which I meant to notice. Or make note of. So this is the first game that they're not playing Cramorant in the bottom lane for the two and two. Oh, I must have landed on against Fox. Mm. Oh, he's bot this time though. So we'll see if they're doing two and two or if they're nice, one one three. Okay, so GG is doing one one three this game. They have been kind of like responding to the two and two a lot. Uh, we'll see how they decide to to do this, how they do it. Uh, hyperspace Hole, after the changes to Trick, it seems like competitive teams are playing Hyperspace Hole a lot more, which is really, really good. Um, always has been. Uh, but now they're able to kind of use that to macro a little bit. All right, Jungle Garchomp, you can see it. Gabite in the top lane. Soon level five. They didn't quite hold for his experience. It happens like that, so he's going to try to get his level 5 really quickly. All right, Fui goes down there. They still have people there, so it's not that bad. Ooh, really good job there to avoid that pushback. That Dragon Rush, really, really dangerous. He doesn't have that. They're going to be able to get a lot of that experience, but the Big B is definitely going to go to them. And that, that is the strength of a Jungle Garchomp. You do get to control a lot of the farm like that. You can see Toon's a little bit ahead of Dave. Not a huge deal. I think there's just so much value in getting kills that we're seeing a lot less junglers go for triple rotations and more lane presence, especially with early game speedsters. Like early game speedsters are really, really good at that. So hyperspace hole is going to send Dave back and he's just going to go straight into jungle um, because he's not usually he's not basing like his, on his instant timer like he usually would uh, to go straight back into jungle. So he's kind of relying on that hyperspace hole to save him a little bit of time um, because he's putting a lot more presence in the lane. And I think. This is something that we should be doing in uh, our solo queue games, not necessarily relying on hyperspace hole, but um, uh, staying in lane a little bit longer as jungle or, or, or like ganking, leaving, re-ganking because kills are so, so important. Getting score early is so, so important with the current EXP bug. Okay, so bottom lane sounds like it's struggling a little bit. They do keep that pressure in top lane. Glocksick is going to send um, Dave down, I think. We'll see. Okay, so they're they're kind of returning to 720Bs. They have like 113 set up with Glocksick in the bottom. They do have three people in the top lane, so they have to be careful. With the Garchomp Dragon Rush, he shoves it back. So, he gets a little bit of experience. But the thing is, is like even with all these people here, they're going to have to have Glocksick send them down. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay, so they send Dave down. And Gengar actually has some pretty decent secure, so um, they're either going to have to look to fight if they get a, a forced fight on them. Ooh, Phil going to be taking a lot of damage there. Okay, so if we comes down, they do have like the fluffy tail with the green in as well. So they're going to have to, they're going to have to commit to this flip. And that's what they're doing. So Zugrug, Zugrug really, really low, but the Dread's getting low as well. They do have the Electro Ball right there. Nice. They got it. They got it. So GG gets this, or um, Foreign Famous gets this. They're going to go ahead and take down Indy. They get him out of there, and they're going to be pushed in the spot lane. So now this is where it's like really, I mean, obviously this has always been the case, but um, in the current state of the game, it seems like this is where like teams can really start to take over a little bit. Toon stayed topside on the Garchomp jungle to get the Rotom. So... They, at minimum, were able to kind of, like, get a trade out of it, which I think is really, really important because snowballs, like, in solo queue right now are happening so much after, like, everything gets taken. And when the experience is heavily swayed in one way, um, I think that it's, like, super, super strong to get everything on the map and just hard snowball. 
Dave stays a little bit, a little bit of an overstay there, but he's gonna go ahead and get taken down. We'll see. Garchomp's probably gonna get that big score for free in topside. Oh, maybe not. He's holding it for the farm. So he's farming. He's just trying to get as big as possible. So this is a really, really good. This is a really good um, catch up for Toon and topside. Yeah, they're farming the lane. We're giving free farm. Yeah, he's level 11. Like, look at him. He's huge. So Garchomp is massive. Okay. If we're to unite, which is actually not bad because he may not have that for like the next big dread fight. He probably won't have that for dread fight at like five minutes. Um, using his unite just shy of five minutes. Yeah. So like 30 seconds, they have like a whole potential unite over them. Uh, Hoopa is going to be grinding for nine. I think it's really, really close game right now. Because the enemy team, like GG's had a lot of time to to farm up. And they're they're playing they're playing aggressive on top side. Because they might have the Hoopa Unite. So yeah, so they can chill. Okay. So Dave's gonna go. Oh, he got his he got his uh teleport cancelled. I couldn't teleport. That was really good on Latano for the Lucario. It takes us too long. Like we know there's a timer ticking and we just don't get here in time. Okay, so now they break the top side. Lucario stays bottom. Or top rather. They're gonna get dread, by the way. Uh Rodum, I mean. And now they're kind of like on the back foot, because they can't contest the Rotom. And they just have to kind of like sit here and hold this tower try not to give this up don't want to give any more oh i don't think he can do anything with that cc as long as they don't have some crazy big play it's been a mostly even game like it's mostly even i think that um gg probably just has more points turned in right now at this point but like experience wise they're not that far behind it seems like 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 phil on the slow bro is at level nine coming into level 10 so he's like at max like a couple God. levels behind but he's probably the lowest so like relatively speaking it's not bad they put they open up the hyperspace hall which you know they're trying to push in so that's a little dangerous because they're, they're gonna be able to like counter it with the hyperspace hole and that's a really big benefit to hyperspace hole whenever they can uh just like tp their teammates in but you can see close battle so they were actually doing really well, but this push is, is probably going to cost them um, like the lead. So we'll see how they dunk that. Hmm. 50. Okay. We need a damage, like we need an 50 to 90. Damage. Okay, so now we know that they are huge lead, most likely. So GG is huge lead over Foreign Famous. And that Rotom has been being held, so GG hasn't taken it. I need to get a buff. So, Make sure to just be in position. Dave's gonna be farming for the unite move. I don't know if they're gonna. They're probably gonna shred that Rotom. Yep. No, it's a, the Dreadnought actually. I'm surprised that they didn't have the uh, Garchomp on the Rotom just to put that extra lane pressure on them. Okay. Go for, uh, so getting Rotom. Yeah. Go for a score. Whatever. Okay. So they're scoring and forcing pressure on this bottom. They're trading that turn in and top. So, and that's only 60. At this point, it just comes down to this big fight. Okay. Garchomp goes down instantly. Now they're on this big team fight. He's trying to find the backline Pikachu. But Zugrug is just like super in there. They take him down. Now he's on Hoopa. Nice. That big catch on Toon is huge. They don't have big shred, but they do have good secure, so they have to just like hard B press this. Nice. Are they secure? Alright, so they're really struggling. They score 100. That's not enough. Okay, he's not going to get in. So they scored 200. 
So that's just enough to keep them in the lead. Like, or to put them in the lead. So he's going to try to help Glockset get in if he can. Go, 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 go. You have one second. No. They don't get it in. Okay. So they scored 200. They are barely ahead, probably. It could be anywhere between like 20 to like maybe like 50, 60 points. Yo, defend. Okay. All right, Dave, a little OD right here. They're going, they're going, they're going, they're going. Playing for like the back cap. Maybe to secure a little bit more points. He's going to end up in a 1v1 with Lutano. Lutano can honestly like dash around Gengar or Lucario. And it's really, really hard to like land your abilities, it feels like. Nice, nice. Okay, so no scores. They should have they won. They should have won. How much did you guys score? Nice. They won. They win by the 60 points. Well done. Well done. All right. So that early game was actually one of their like more rough games. It felt like the enemy team GG was able to just get ahead and, and really kind of like hold that lead all the way to the end. And then it came down to the final fight. So I kind of want to watch that fight back if we can, um, because you can see how impactful the catch on the Garchomp was. I believe it was the Garchomp. So they kind of like macro a turn in here and they have their Hoopa Unite. So Lucario is not here. Okay, so look at this. They insta OD this bush. So they insta push this bush. And as, as Toon gets caught, like no buddy barriers in this current meta is going to save this. So like Phil surfs in and they do like a full Dream Eater combo on him. He's going to be like half health and then he gets united. So this is just insta dead. Like in insta dead. As soon as he dies there... The fight is basically just one, as long as they don't like throw. I'm on, I'm on goof. So Dave just goes for whatever target he can like execute, because if he over if he overcommits to the Pikachu, he's gonna get kited. So he kills the Wiggly, and then he just sticks on the on the Hoopa, and he just commits to it, because his damage is like his burst is, is high. So his teammates can just like kite out, win the fight, however they gotta win it, and then they have to just secure this. So um, I think I think in the current state of the game, like getting Zapdos off the field is super, super important. So like I said, the thing with their team comp is they don't have a ton of shred. They don't have a Cinder or like a Garchomp or anybody that's going to shred really, really like fast. But they do have two really good secures. They have um, like Shadow Ball Dream Eater secure and they have uh, what I think is a Belch secure because he's running Fluffy Tail. So um, really, really good. Good job here. Phil, I think you guys have to do it. I think you have to do Phil, Phil, go, 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 go in that bush. We'll see them secure this one as the dream eater. Nice. Nice. So there you have it, friends. A crazy series. I definitely urge if you if you can uh, find basically any of these players POVs and and watch back the whole series. It got it was really really strong uh, from both teams. Really even series, I think. Uh, before infamous walks away with it so friends as always thank you so much for watching drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you have it for future pokemon unite content the meta right now seems pretty open i actually like i said um really like the current state of balance so it's cool to see that it doesn't seem like it's affecting like five stack play like almost at all like these games don't seem super snowbally like uh like solo queue is but uh, yeah, the meta is really like wide open, crazy, crazy options for people to play. I think the balance is in a pretty good spot. So as always, be sure to be kind of one of them. Plus, we love them. And I'll see you in the next video.